Hello everyone, welcome back to Holy RP Solutions. In this session, we'll be discussing about the memory service module, which is nothing but H2R or HDR, higher to retire process. In, a, in an organization, a human resource department is responsible for the complete employee hiring process till he leaves the company or till he retires the company. Usually, the HR department will place an ad on the job portals or in the newspapers or in the company's website for a vacancy. So once the candidate or the person sees an ad, he'll respond with his criteria to the company, send his resume or CV. And a job department will call him for an interview. They'll have their own selection panel and criteria and packages defined for a position. So once the employee gets hired, the employee registration will come into effect. Here they will enter the entire employee information like education qualification, his name, passport details previous or past experience where he has worked with, which sponsors he has been worked with, upload the documents, etc., defining him, defining him or assigning him the payroll packages. So here in this session, it will be done like this. Now there comes the payroll and leave packages. An employee will have usually the payroll packages, which is nothing but the basic salary, housing allowances, transportation allowances, any other allowances, and uh, based on the contractual terms, like if he's married, so he will have, or he will be entitled to wife plus two children or one children, as plus a company policy, a ticket, an annual ticket, or yearly leave, whatever the things will be there to be decided based on his payroll packages and leave packages. Maybe he's also entitled for a 30 days annual leave or 21 days annual leave, and five days in a year for medical leaves, anything as per the company's policies. So each employee will be assigned the payroll and the lease. Then HR department is also responsible for setting up attendance policy of the company. Here, attendance policy is nothing but the working hours of the company. As per the labor laws, whatever of the, of the country, they will follow the rules and they will set up a working hours for a company, like weekly five days or six days and daily eight days and compliance of 48 hours per week, whatever the policies are there by the labor law they'll take into consideration and set up an attendance policy for a company in an ERP. Now, if any of the manufacturing companies are, or any store or retail convenience stores are there, which is working on the clock like 24 seven, so they will be having shifts. So that entire shift like from 12 to eight, again, eight to four, again, four to nine, 12. So all these things will be taken into consideration and the company's attendance and shift policies will be created for each employees and for each department and for each section or stream. Now, employee time and attendance will also be managed. Nowadays, there are many biometric devices which can be directly integrated with the ERPs. So once they're integrated here, they will set up and each and every employee's time, like employee number one should come from eight to four and his break hours of like 30 minutes. So based on his punching in and out, the time will be calculated and his attendance will be calculated. Now leave management. Once an employee is entitled for a leave after a year or after a two year, then he will request for a leave. And based on that, the company HR department will issue him ticket, salary, everything will be done from this module, leave management module. And they can also trace how many past leaves he has taken and whether he's entitled to leave or not, how many days are remaining or how many leaves are remaining can be seen from this leave management module. An employee when he went for a business trip due to some of the company's work will have some claims. So uh, he needs a advanced salary or he requests for a loan. Then through this sub module, employee loan or advance or claim management, HR can record and take into consideration for approving the employees, any of the loan or advance or claim. Obviously, all the employees are working for the salaries. So at the end of every month, the HR department processes the payroll based on the attendance they have set up for each employee and whether they are following the time or not, and whether they are present in the company or not whatever the process they have set up based on that, the payroll will be calculated and paid to the employees 
maybe via bank transfers or online method, checks or cash card. Now, once an employee finishes his contract terms, he may ask for an increment. So HR can have an HR increment sub-module also where the increment process can be recorded or considered. Due to which rarely happens that some employees, HR department also requires for the increment process for some employees. So all these things, increment and decrement process will be taken care of in the ERP itself. And now once the term is completed, contract term is completed, the employee resigns or he is terminated. Then employee designation sub module comes into effect where they can feed the information of an employee, whether he's going to resign or what, or he's been terminated, the reasons, and they can conduct an exit interview. What was the reason or what is the reason the company an employee has been resigning or being terminated? All the criteria can be resigned, enter here. Now comes, once the employee has been resigned or terminated, the final thing for HR will be employee clearance, whatever his end of service benefits or the pending salaries dues will be cleared and the end of service will be given to his salary, transferred to his bank accounts and the clearance certificates will be handed over to him. This is how the human resource department will work through HR module in an ERP from hiring till this end of service or till an employee retires. Thank you, gentlemen.